I'm Katrina and we're in Griffin Wind Farm right now and I'm a trainee engineer in the electrical wind team. Griffin Wind Farm is an onshore wind farm, um, 2.3 megawatt turbines. So most of the work that I do is HV electrical work, so HV switching, deal with transformers, cables. I've been in a control room, that was really interesting. Uh, just working with the technicians, we sometimes go up the turbines, annual services. Uh, you get over your fear of heights pretty quickly and when you're up there it's not scary at all. So in most turbines there are lifts, some of them you have to climb but it's a lift in these turbines and once you get up there the views are amazing. My one top tip would be enthusiasm is key and ask lots of questions. SSC had the most inviting uh, websites when I went on to look uh, at jobs and they've got a really good safety policy as well and that's really important to me. I feel very lucky to work here every day. It's spectacular and it's a very chill day-to-day -day working life and I get to work with a really good team of people as well. My message to any females thinking about joining this industry is that you just have to go for it. It's a really good industry to get into. There's loads of job prospects. Everyone that I've ever worked with has treated me really well. They'll go out their way to help you and you have a fun day at work. I'm an apprentice wind turbine technician. What attracted me to an apprenticeship at SSE was their policies and the fact that you're making a difference, so you're doing something better. Right. So we arrive, um, usually we start at about seven in the morning um, and then we'll find out whether we're onshore or offshore and if we're offshore we'll load the boat up and then go out to the turbines, do the jobs that, and the tasks that need doing and then return home. When the weather's really bad, it's a non-sale day, so we spend the day at the office um, doing tasks and base checks and things for the turbines, but onshore. So the apprenticeship lasts for four years, um, and my goal is to hopefully, hopefully progress um, and stay with SSE. My one tip for anyone coming to interview for an apprenticeship would be to be confident. I, I think the main uh, draw was uh, the opportunity to learn and work at the same time uh, in the industry that I want to work in. Uh, I found it great. Uh, I've really enjoyed uh, the learning part, uh, going to college uh, together with the, the, the hands-on work experience. The year is broken up by uh, weekly blocks of university. Uh, they fall throughout the calendar year uh, and with that is coursework and exams. I've also got to complete some uh, outcomes to do with uh, uh, working duties, uh, which I also uh, carry out throughout the year. And in quarterly reviews, we go over all the all the work that I've completed so far and what else that, uh, is still for me to do. Uh, yeah, the mentor's been great. Uh, he's been helping me whenever I've asked. He's also given me space to uh, find things out myself and uh, to learn uh, through doing and not by asking. At Inverall Power Station, uh, we take our water from uh, Loch Awe. It's tunnelled to above the station, uh, the surge, and that water then travels through pipework into the station, which uh, turns the turbines, which turns the generator and produces electricity for the grid.
So the next couple of years, next year is much of the same, uh, although I'll have more responsibilities put on me. And then the third year I'll have, uh, I would have finished university by then, and it will be a case of taking on uh, a larger project through the year, uh, whilst also uh, completing uh, my, my normal duties, which I'd taken up by then. Uh, after th uh, the three years is up, uh, there will be positions open uh, that I'll have to apply for. Uh, and once I've taken on one of those positions, I'll start as a junior role in the engineering department or an engineering role. Uh, I would like to complete the programme and uh, do well in the programme, uh, find myself uh, an engineer role and one day maybe work my way up to area lead. passionate about the environment. Uh, I uh, wanted to continue an engineering role uh, and this was the perfect opportunity for me. Uh, my one top tip would be to research the role you'll be applying for and to find out as much as you can about the industry uh, that you'll be working in as you will be asked about that.